Hey, welcome back everybody. Mike Thurman with Mike's Minute here in the Whisper Valley subdivision. My trusty colleague, Mr. Lincoln, who is out here in this field with me or next to this field. And as a bird dog, well, you know what I gotta do. I gotta let him go, release, go. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about geothermal, the yard line going to the house and the lines within the house. And it is critical to remember that this is a really a low maintenance situation here for a homeowner. So this grid system is pre-installed during the subdivision construction process, and it makes it a really a win-win for you as the homeowner. You're not uh, having to dig up your front yard or your backyard like uh, you see in some of the videos that are out there nowadays about geothermal systems for an individual house. This is a grid system, so your yard's not gonna look like uh, you know the Caddy Shack golf course after the gopher's done with it. It's gonna be clean, landscaped, ready to go. And so what you've got in front of you is a borehole that goes down 375 feet deep, rough plus or minus a little bit there. And that is what is really gonna neutralize the temperature of the geo water before it enters to your house so that the water going into your house is going in at the same temperature every time. In the event of extreme heat, like what we're experiencing in Texas right now, you do have some coolers at the centralized pump station or the energy station that are gonna also work towards nullifying that temperature out. Uh, but in general, this borehole is what does the trick for you. So again, kind of where it starts for you as a homeowner at the property, but it's gonna now go into the house. And what we're gonna do is take you inside to show you what's inside and the simplicity of that operation as well. Okay, so now we're in the house and I've got my help back. And what you can see here is some white pipes coming out of the ground. And those are actually coming out of the slab. We put those in during construction of the slab so that we could then at a later date, pull in these black lines that you see here. Now this is a polyethylene pipe used in the gas industry, oil industry, water industry, um, multitude of uses, extremely durable product. They're buried five feet deep in the yard. So you don't have a lot of occasions where you're gonna be going that deep with anything else. Um, but check with your builder to make sure before you close on that house, you know where those lines are just in case. Um, but a very durable pipe. They are heat fused here in the house, so that it is a, a thermal connection, which means we heat the pipe up and we literally weld it together so it sticks together with a coupler. Um, this pipe will then extend up to the attic or it's going to go up to your air conditioning closet where your air handler is gonna be located. And from there, it's gonna get terminated into the equipment. So very straightforward, not a lot of technology involved here, a basic plumbing scenario. We are now inside the house um, where we were yesterday, but the beauty of it now is this foam insulation. So we showed you just yesterday, uh, prior to this installation of foam, those white sleeves that we had stuck in the foundation and our black geothermal lines that are running from the yard into the house and up through our crawl space to get to where the air handler box will be. Um, this is a really, really, good illustration of how we build our homes. And it's a great way to see how these geothermal lines, whether it's being five feet in the yard or fully engulfed with this foam insulation, keep that temperature of that water going to the geothermal unit at a constant level. And that's the key. And so we go through considerable measures to do that. Uh, if you'll recall, here's a block, here's a block. This is where the geothermal lines are running up and they're connected here. Um, just a really superb way to insulate a home, insulate those lines. You know, 10 years ago, foam insulation was a high-end custom home product scenario. Uh, now, every one of our houses in Whisper Valley come with foam insulation. Uh, it does a couple things. It insulates, which is a given, but it also seals up this house really tight. So if you do end up having an energy bill, <clears throat> the bill that you're paying for is has been really reduced because you're not letting that air conditioned air out because this foam insulation is going to seal your housing envelope and make it extremely tight sometimes we're getting numbers sub two percent leakage on an entire house that's pretty impressive you know when you can get hers ratings down into the single digits you're getting below two percent on your leakage of your house all that air conditioned air isn't able to leak out um, that's an outstanding situation to be in so snapshot look at post foam install. Next, we're gonna go up to the uh, closet where the air handler is gonna go 
and I think you're going like, to like what we have to show you up there. So now we're up here in the air conditioning unit where the unit goes for the air handler. Now this is a closet inside of our houses. Uh, we like to have it accessible for our homeowners to change out their filter, conduct their annual maintenance from the AC condenser drain line, those kinds of things. So it's in air conditioned space, which makes the unit even more efficient. Um, so that's, that's what you're seeing here behind you. Sometimes this will be up in the attic. It doesn't have to be in a closet in the house. Um, so either way is okay. Uh, the key component for us as the builder is that we're paying attention to this gauge right here. So this gauge is on those black lines that we showed you downstairs coming into the house. These are the, the lines that are still carrying that geothermal water to the unit. Um, we keep a pressure gauge on duration of the construction so that we know that we don't have any loss in pressure due to some construction activity, which happens from time to time, and we're able to fix it if we see a pressure loss. Uh, this is kind of the end of the line for that geothermal line before it goes into the unit. Um, the geothermal water will then do its trick inside of the unit. And we're gonna show you that in our next series on how the geothermal unit itself operates and why it's so efficient. Uh, so with that, let's go build something. Have a great day. As always, if you have any questions, give me a call at the number on the screen uh, or give me an email, shoot me an email. We'll be glad to answer any questions you have and have a great week. I do want to take a second and give a quick shout out to all of my friends over at the Home Loan Expert team, Aaron Bowersock, Jared Kingsley. Um, you guys are killing it over there. We, Thurman Homes, uh, rely on them heavily to support our realtor community and our buyer community, but also these are the guys that are helping us put these videos together for you, the realtors and the buyers so that you can be up to speed with exactly what's going on in the building industry and specifically out here in Whisper Valley. So again, a huge shout out to the Home Loan Expert team, not sponsoring this video in any way, but we couldn't do it without them.